Hi guys, this is Jonathan, the Disney fan here, and welcome to part 7 on my least favorite shows list. So, let's get started with Way Baloo. What could I say about this one? This was an abysmal show. I mean, the characters... Can the characters get any creepier? Look at them. All of the characters look so creepy. I mean, my God. Who designed these characters? They look absolutely awful. Who in God's name created these characters? Who designed them? And the episodes are just... They're hard to sit through and... It makes you want... And they're just bunches of childish stuff. And they do... Lots of... Oh my god. They do lots of stupid stuff. And the animation is very stupid and very poorly done. The, like, there are so many flaws with this show that needs to be fixed. Actually, it can't be fixed because there's so many flaws. There's too much flaws that's so unbearable I can't even think of something that needs to be fixed. This is just... A very poor excuse for a kid's show. And the title doesn't make any sense at all. Way Baloo is just a really creepy and childish show that I should avoid if I were you. Okay, moving on to the next one. Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. This one, the animation is hideous. This is has this has the worst animation ever. Look at the animation. The animation looks like it comes from a kindergartner. And can't the characters get any uglier than this? My God, the characters looks looks are so horrible. The episodes are very abysmal, not to mention. I wonder who designed these characters. They look awful. It looks like it comes from Peppa Pig too, which Peppa Pig is an awful show as well. And... The joke... It has no real good jokes, and it has no real good sense of humor. All it is is just a bunch of trashy animation with ugly characters and, and dumb humor and a very, very bad jokes. And the episodes are just really cringe-worthy and Dumb to sit through. I don't know who was even asking for this show to exist. This show is just absolutely horrible. If you haven't seen that show, I'd say avoid it. You will not like it. Okay, moving on to the next one. Go Diego Go. This, I believe, is a spin-off to Dora the Explorer. Which, Dora the Explorer is also a very bad show to begin with. The animation is very abysmal, just like Dora the Explorer. The animation are, is just as abysmal as Dora was. And the adventures that he goes on are just so boring. Nothing interesting happens. And it's so repetitive. He saves those animals. 
and you know he's gonna save him, and and it's and it's predictable. And the feed the feed song is also annoying. Just like the Doherty Explorer theme song. Both of them are very annoying. And the episodes, like I said, they were repetitive. The animation is poorly done. The voice acting is has one of the worst voice acting ever. I mean, come on here. And it's also the worst spin-off ever. Nick Jr., I don't know what you were thinking when you made Go Diego Go. I have no idea what you were thinking when you made this show to begin with. Like if Doherty Explorer wasn't bad enough, we got this. Yeah. And the jokes are just trashy jokes. And it has a very poor sense of humor. The sense of humor is very poor. It doesn't have... It doesn't have one real good joke. And Diego is just a bland character. And every characters are bland and uninteresting and dull. So yeah, if you haven't seen that show... Stay away from that show if you haven't seen it. Stay away from it. And go watch some other good shows instead. Okay, moving on to the next one. Oh yeah, you guys knew it. The Hugabug Club. My God, like if Bonnie wasn't bad enough, we got this. The Hugabug Club. Look at the character's design. It's so, so terrible. I don't know who in the world made those designs for th these characters. They look creepy and hideous. Even their face looks hideous. And everybody who acted in this show was was terrible. Everybody was terrible throughout the entire throughout the entire show. Every single episode, they acted so terrible, and they just wasted their career, and they were they ended up ended up just embarrassing themselves and embarrassing their career, eventually putting their hole in their career. And the theme song is so annoying, and the, and this show is very childish. It has. The the humor is dumb and the jokes are very childish and all the stuff they do is repetitive, singing, dancing, learning crap and all that stuff. It's very repetitive and it's just as bad as Bonnie and Friends. If you haven't seen it, do me a favor and stay. The hell away from the Huggabug Club. It's a very childish mess and it's a piece of donkey vomit. Okay, moving on to the next one. Mickey and the World Still Racers. Yeah, like a Mickey Mouse Clubhouse wasn't bad enough, they eventually wrecked this sh the Mickey Mouse cartoon with another bad Mickey Mouse show called Mickey and the World Still Racers. The animation is just as bad as um Mickey Mouse Clubhouse was, 
and it has no real good jokes and the stuff they do is dumb. The episodes are just not the same and this is this Disney Junior, what were you thinking? Why did you make this? This is so horrible. Mickey and the World Serasers? Really? Like if Mickey Mouse Clubhouse wasn't bad enough. Please watch the classic Mickey Mouse cartoons. The Goofy and the classic Donald and Goofy, Pluto, Minnie, and Daisy cartoons. And even watch Disney's House of Mouse. Those were my childhood and those were great. Especially Disney's House of Mouse. Those, that show was great and it was part of my childhood. This was horrible. And it's a huge disgrace to Mickey Mouse and Friends. Just like Mickey Mouse Clubhouse was. And finally, the last one I'm going to talk about is Super Y. This is the crappiest PBS Kids show ever. The animation is so god-awful. And they don't even fix the problem. They just mess up the story. Throughout the entire show, all they do is go into a fairy tale, try to solve problems, but ending up messing the story that doesn't even make any sense whatsoever. And the characters are just are horrible. The worst character ever throughout the entire show is Wonder Red. I hate Wonder Red so much. She is the worst character ever. Throughout the entire show. Alpha Pig is number two. Wonder Red's number one. Wonder Red is the worst character ever. I hate her so much. She is the worst character ever in PBS Kids history and in Super Y. And can the characters get any dumb? My god! What have they done to these characters? They make them so brain dead throughout the entire show. They do lots of dumb things. And they and they and they speak they speak dumb. They talk dumb too. This is one of the dumbest PBS kids shows ever and prop prop possibly the one of the worst PBS kids shows ever. Actually it is, because it's so bad that words cannot describe how uh, embarrassing and how repulsive this show is. I can't believe I even used to like this pile of donkey vomit back then. Yeah, I did like it back then, but nowadays, I hate it. I think it's so bad now, and so childish. <sighs> My god, that, that was the most obnoxious PBS Kids show I've ever seen throughout my entire life. If you haven't seen it, stay away from this show. Do not watch this show and watch Disney movies instead. Disney movies are a lot better than this. This is horrible. And it's childish and they mess up every single fairy tale that they go through. And that's all I would like to say. Thank you so much for watching part 7 of my least favorite shows. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe to me. This is Jonathan, the Disney fan, signing off, and I'll see you guys next time.